Hello family, welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I present to you something I found in the scriptures and for me, it is actually one of the wisdoms that secures longevity in life. Especially if you're going to be somebody who's going to do this life thing for long and you're going to walk around with great people. I saw that in the scriptures and for me, I, I'm like, this is this is just too much light and this is just too much information in here that I decided to shoot a content about it to bless someone and to shape someone's perspective especially because I said this is a wisdom that secures longevity in life I was reading something from the book of Daniel chapter 1 the verse number 4 it says that children in whom was no blemish but well favored and skillful in all wisdom and cunning in knowledge and understanding signs and such as had ability in them to stand in the king's palace and whom they might teach the learning and the tongue of the Chaldeans. I take it again. He says that children in whom was no blemish but well favored and skillful in all wisdom and cunning in knowledge and understanding signs and such as had ability in them to stand in the king's palace and whom they might, they might teach the learning and the tongue of the Chaldeans. Now, what does it mean one that has ability to stand in the king's palace or in the king's presence? Now guys, when we say somebody has an ability to stand in the king's palace and in the king's presence, we're talking about somebody who has the capacity to stay in the king's palace and in the king's presence and hear all that goes on in the king's palace and in the king's presence and has his mouth shut and does not go about speaking about it. Yes. To stand before a king is an ability one must build. What is this ability of standing in the king? Now, it's important for you to know and understand that it is not slaves who stand in the king's palace. It is not slaves who stand in the king's palace. It is noble men who stand in the king's palace. And then again, note that it is not all men that even get the opportunity to stand with the king or to stand in the presence of a king. And so for you to be one who is situated at post in a place where you are standing constantly with the presence and in the presence of a king, then it means that you should be somebody who has the ability to behold here and see all that goes on with the subject matter of kinship and all that happens in the king's court or in the king's room and have the ability to shut up about it. Remember, I said this is the wisdom that secures longevity in life. Why is this particular content so important? Now, for lots of you in, in, in this generation and in, in, in especially for Gen Z folks, we live in a world where the fact that your eyes have seen and your ears have heard doesn't mean you should go about speaking about it. In our generation, the least thing is on the internet, the least thing, somebody shares something confidential with you and it's all over the place, da, 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 da. If you live your life doing that, you would never have access to great people. This is one of the wisdoms that preserves your presence with great men. Every man has a weakness, but them that have wisdom to guard the weakness of great men are the ones that will work with the great men for far. And a lot of people do not understand and a lot of people do not know this. A group of young persons in the scriptures, um, um, Noah's son, saw his father's nakedness and ran out to go and tell his brother that daddy is naked. The two other people came in and saw it and covered it. There's a particular wisdom that you live life with, especially when you have access to great people. Do not abuse access. You are close to a great person. You saw his weakness because you have a certain level of access. Wisdom teaches you that the fact that your eyes saw and your ears heard does not mean your mouth should go and stay. Your mouth should go and see. This is the wisdom that guides men in life. This is the wisdom that guides access to great people. It is called having the ability to stand in the king's presence. And so for lots of you who are seeking to get access to a lot of great people out there, are you sure that when you have been blessed with the level or the gift of access to have people come into your, um, to, 
to have been blessed to have the gift of access to go into the space of great people you will have the commensurate wisdom to sustain their dignity and honor based off of the weakness you see around them and so i present to you a truth a profound truth i found in the word of god men that have ability to stand in the king's palace i don't know about you but i want to be a man who is constantly standing in the king's palace i want to be a man who has the ability to see all the things that go on around my mentors to see see all the things that go on around the great people in my life and I still have the wisdom to shut up about it because it does not concern me and for lots of you this is the reason why you struggle to get access to certain class of people mumu bi bebre oh switching to my local dialect mumu bi bebre oh mu nya opportunity any impenim for anase esika for anase nkofo a omo ye ni monyam for en nanti because wa be ni pa na u be hu ne in coat ni we ni weakness anase at that point in time what happens is that you've sold your level of access and one thing i realized is when i was with one of my mentors one time and he decided to test somebody by displaying a particular attitude and told me he said moses watch if we give this guy 3 days and we've not had this all over the company he's somebody that we can work with for some time but if we hear this thing Oh in a matter of 24 hours I was there he just sent me a message and then he said son I told you my peer just told me that the cleaners were discussing what I did yesterday right in front of you I told you it was a test and so you need to understand there's a wisdom that comes with working with great people and if you're going to know one of the wisdoms one of them is that have an ability to stand in the king's presence do not go about sharing everything you saw and everything you heard when you accessed greatness because it might cost you in the future remember this is wisdom that secures longevity in life i hope that this wisdom nugget i hope this wisdom bite this thought from me on the scriptures has blessed you do subscribe to this channel like share this with some young person out there for them to know that they should not abuse access and that this will actually secure their life for the long term Love and light, my name is Moses Biata. Cheers, guys.